Hello everybody and welcome back to Spirit Tea. We are just waking up. It is 11 a.m. on Sunday. It's rather late for us to be waking up, but we have been stalking Kim's apartment, waiting for the spirit to come and take her phone, and it never happened. So I am speculating we need to wait until Monday for that. Let's check our bulletin board here and see what other spirits we need to be keeping our eye out for. Bruce, I thought we finished his spirit. We found the spirit a shrine to live in, but this is not going away. So we might need to check on Bruce. Eric's spirit, we need to do that one on a Monday night. We need to take some pictures. Today's Sunday. There's our phone thief. Lee's painting spirit. We still have to find Lee painting and figure out that spirit. Ooh, this one's new. Trouble at the beach. That's Quill, right? Looking for deviant causing trouble at the beach. I will be speaking to your parents. So we need to help Quill out. There's a deviant at the beach. Hmm. We need to check the beach out. And then this one we can do tonight. Toby has been having some issues streaking with no clothes on around our city. So we have to go to the hot springs tonight. It says, especially Sunday nights, it's not safe. So after dark, we are going to go and check that out. But for right now, let's just double check the beach. We'll turn on our spirit vision here. Quill says there's a deviant. Where else could this spirit be? There's no beach here. Oh gosh, there's a crow. I still have PTSD from the crow incident. Oh my gosh, stop it. <laughs> oh, wait, there's Lee. Lee, have you ever seen a baby cloud? Oh, not with this again. I wonder how much moisture has to be up there before a cloud is actually a cloud. I don't know, Lee. Oh, what is he doing? A gift for thee. Oh, a friendship gift from Lee. May its scent enliven your living space. I got a wall wreath. Interesting. Thank you, Lee. Here comes the author of the next big thing. Am I talking about you? Or maybe it could be me. Singing or hot springing? Let's become besties with Lee. We're almost there. All right, here we are, Lee. Yes, we want to go to the hot springs. Oh. This is awkwardly romantic. Why, Lee? I never thought of you like this before. Yes, here we are, immersed in the steaming waters of Mother Nature, without our clothing. I thank you for the invite, Bunny. No, it was my pleasure. I can't think of a better way to spend a Sunday afternoon. Are we becoming better friends, I hope? Do you mind talking or would you rather silence? I've always been a talkative man myself, so I just wanted to check. Just stop talking, Lee. <laughs> we continued our conversation for quite some time. And then Quill came to interrupt. Darn you, Quill. Oh, he and the missus wanted to have a little soak. So did Lee and I become better friends? Where did he go? I don't think that improved our friendship at all. What? Okay. Forget you. Let's talk with Faye. It's too hot to work outside in the summer. It's like punishing yourself for no reason. I agree. So if I can get that done by... Oh, you've caught me figuring some things out. Oh, let's do some digging, since it's too early to do drinking, apparently. I mean, it's five o'clock somewhere, but okay. How about some digging? Yes, for buried treasure. Do you think we'll find anything? Check this out. I found this old paper in my workshop. Ooh, I have a mystery map. I think if we go in our collections, this is where our treasure maps are. I found this one and that one. This is our new one. Where do you think that is? It looks like a dock. 
Could that be by the docks north of our house? That's got to be a dock, right? Let's go check the docks. Come on, Faye. This does not look like the picture of that. Those were benches, right? Let's just look one more time here. So we have the dock in front of it and then a bench behind it. That's exactly what it looks like. All right, let's get our shovel. It's right in front of it, right? No. How about this one? Yes, we got it. Let's go. I got a spirit tome. Honestly, I'm not entirely sure what that is. A spirit tome? I already had these things in my backpack. Hmm. I've gotten those before. I really don't know what those are. All right, Faye, unless you got something more for me, I am all out of maps. Well, that was fun. We still have another hour or two before we can go to the hot springs. We have to wait until it's dark. Let's go and talk with Moby. Hey, Moby. Sujin has a cool boat. You don't think you've ever traveled by boat before. Oh, maybe you should become better friends with Sujin. Good evening. Ooh, let's see what Moby has for sale. A latte? Hot cocoa? Don't I need to donate the hot cocoa? Yes, let's buy it. I'm pretty sure that we do. Is it the one down south? By Young's place? Let's go check it out. Hey, Clarence. Be careful when you next chat with Quill. He's in quite the mood. Apparently somebody's been pranking him whenever he goes to read at the beach. Oh, when does he read at the beach? Do you know what time? All right. We're not going to talk about it anymore, are we? That's fine. We could do a bit of fishing with Julian. Why not? Yes, I know how to fish. Can we fish here? Honestly, I don't remember. No, we can't. We can't fish at the beach. That makes no sense. I have a bluegill. All right. Maybe we can toss these out because I don't think there's... Do we need these? Come on, Julian. Come on in. Mikasa is Sukasa. We're going to deposit our clownfish, our muffin plum. Oh my goodness. Did you hear that sound? Look at top right of my screen. There's a spirit eating my mulogs again. I'm frozen. Oh my gosh. Wanyan just smacked him. <laughs> I have no idea how you thought you could get away with stealing from us. Plus, is your head hollow because your chewing was like a train whore bellowing in the tunnel? <laughs> if I don't move, maybe they'll think I'm unconscious. Hmm. It's not moving. Maybe I... Oh no, I'm awake, I'm awake. Just startled, that's all. Somehow I seem to recall being struck by a large blunt weapon in the past. <laughs> Give it another whack. Gladly. <laughs> Only one pudgy spirit cat could be this violent. We found our spirit that was eating our moologs. Did I hear you use the word pudgy? Who do we have here? Oh, Is he a badger? Hoban. I would never infer that you were larger than a regular spiritual coin riding cat. Is that my money? Oh, and the bathhouse is open again. Come by and share some more of your shadily obtained goods. We won't question where they're from. Just like old times. Until then. 
Right, what is in here? Wait, there's my fish. I got the shoddy chicken doll. Oh, that little... <laughs> Look at this little chicken doll. He's really cute. I think I'm probably going to need this. We'll probably have to donate it. But for right now, we're going to put it right there. That's super cute, isn't it? No, what was I doing? Oh, yes. We need to put our fish somewhere. I have too many. We'll just throw it here. Why not? I just put dead fish on. I don't know what room this is. It's like my little mud room. Let's put my dead fish here. And I think Julian's going to have to take a hike. Sorry, Julian. Let's go on up to the hot springs. It's 8 p.m. There's supposed to be something shady going on Sunday nights after dark. I don't see anything. Perhaps we need to wait in here? I don't know how long I should wait. Or if I should be in. It is now midnight. Still nothing. Do I have to go in the hot springs with my spirit vision on? It is now 1 a.m. on Monday morning. I am pretty much out of tea leaves. I see nothing. I found nothing. I don't know if I need to wait for more clues, if I did something wrong, if I went at the wrong time. I don't know, but we're going to have to wait a whole week in order to try to find Toby's spirit again, which is sad. Since it's Monday morning, real quick, before we end this, let's go and check on Kim. Do you think her phone will still be here? I'm feeling very tired. Oh, there's her phone. <gasps> oh, there's her spirit. Wait, what? Where'd it go? Did you see that? What was that spirit doing here? Whatever the case, you spooked it. We'll have to hide ourselves better next time. Oh, come on. But this was 2 a.m. and... A very kind viewer suggested around 2 a.m., but we spooked it. I was standing right here. Do you think next time I should stand up here? We'll have to come back. Oh my gosh, I feel like such a spirit failure today, even though we did find one. All right, we are going to end it here. Thank you for joining us. If you're feeling extra kind, please drop a like, leave a comment. If you have been able to get Toby's spirit, please let me know some hints in the comments. I don't mind spoilers at all, so please, by all means, keep the tips coming. They are most appreciated. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.